Sarah, when we look up at the moon on a clear night, we can see these kind of dark patches on it. And you can see them here in this picture I've taken. What exactly are they? Uh, well, these dark round regions are called maria, which is Latin for seas. And they're called that because ancient astronomers actually thought they were seeing seas of water on the moon. Oh, right. Of course, now we know that they were wrong. Yeah, we know that there aren't oceans on the moon, but they were kind of right because they were once actually seas of lava on the moon, which then solidified to form this dark rock, which is called basalt. Um, and that's the dark regions. We yeah, see. exactly. It's basalt. So how were these ancient lava seas created? Well, in the early history of the moon, uh, the whole solar system was a much more dynamic place and there were bits of rock flying around everywhere which impacted both the Earth and the Moon. And some of these had enough energy to stimulate the volcanism uh, and form these dark areas that we see today. How do scientists learn this kind of information about the Moon? There are several ways of learning about the Moon. We can learn about it using high resolution images, especially of spacecraft that are in orbit around the Moon. Also, we have bits of the Moon here on Earth that we can study that were either brought back by space missions or that fell to Earth as meteorites. So these are rocks that originated on the Moon, were chipped off and then fell down to Earth, which we have in our collections here at the museum. And is this what we have here under the uh, microscope? Yes, so here and in the microscope is a slice of a lunar meteorite. It's been sliced very thinly and polished so that the light shines through the rock, which can tell you what the minerals are made of. Uh, and also the texture tells you how, something about how it formed. Wow, it's amazing that we can tell this much. So I guess pictures like this aren't so useful for learning about the moon. Well, they're beautiful and they are useful, but there are lots and lots of different ways that we can learn more about how the moon formed and evolved.